Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So as we discussed, diagonal of a polygon is that line segment which connects two non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. So this is the most important catch here, non-consecutive vertices. Let us take examples of some polygons. So this is a polygon. First tell me if this is a polygon or not. Let's look at the criteria. It is a closed curve. Yes. It is a simple curve. Yes. It is made up of only line segments. Yes. It is made up of five line segments. So this is a polygon. Now in this polygon, which are the vertices? One, two, three, four, five. So these are the five vertices. Let's name them as A, B, C, D, E. So for A, which are the adjacent vertices or consecutive vertices? That means the vertices which lie side by side. That means for those two vertices, there will be a common arm or a common side. For example, the next door neighbors for vertex A are E and B because E and A are consecutive. Similarly, A and E are also consecutive. So the consecutive vertices for A are B and E respectively. So which are the non-consecutive vertices for A? A and C are non-consecutive vertices. So if you join them, you get a diagonal. Similarly, B and D are non-consecutive vertices. You join them, you get a diagonal. B and E are also non-consecutive vertices. You join them, you get a diagonal. E and C, they are also non-consecutive. You join them, you get a diagonal. So in this fashion, you can draw multiple diagonals for polygons. Now, how many diagonals you can draw that changes depending on what is the polygon. So as the number of sides in the polygon increases, the number of possible diagonals also increase. Now, let us look at these polygons. So these are the polygons with four sides. So therefore, how many diagonals we can draw? So here it was five sides. So this time you will see that you can draw lesser number of diagonals. Like here you also have a possibility of this diagonal. Okay, so here this is one possibility and this is another possibility. So there are only two possible diagonals in this case. You cannot draw more than two. Similarly, here also this is one possible diagonal. This is another possible diagonal. You cannot draw more than these. Now you can try drawing diagonals for all of these polygons. Now they are all polygons with multiple number of sides. So try to draw diagonals for all of them. So that would um, not only help you to practice, but also help you in better understanding of diagonals. Now let's talk about regular and irregular polygons. So when we talk about polygons, there are two categories again. Regular polygons where all sides and all angles are equal. So can you tell me an example of a regular polygon which we have discussed some time back? Absolutely. Equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle is an example of a regular polygon. Why? Because in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. All the angles are also equal. So this is an example of regular polygon. Similarly, when you look at this polygon with five sides such that the length of all the five sides are equal and also the measure of all the five angles are also equal. So this is a regular pentagon. Why pentagon? Because it has five sides. Penta means five. Here, what is this? It is a polygon with four sides where all the four sides are equal and all the four angles are also equal and we call this a square. So we will learn about square, pentagon a little later, but these are all examples of regular polygon. Regular means all sides equal, all angles equal. So on the contrary, irregular polygon would mean that all sides are not equal, all angles are not equal. You look at this triangle. This is a right angle triangle here. This angle is 90 degree, but these two angles are acute angles that is less than 90 degrees. So all angles are not equal. All sides are also not equal. You look at this polygon here all angles are equal all the angles are equal to 90 degree but in this case all sides are not equal so these opposite sides are equal and these opposite sides are equal but the adjacent sides are not equal you look at this one here all angles are not equal so this is also an irregular polygon so in order to be a regular polygon all sides and all angles both should be equal 
Now let us look at the types of polygon depending on the number of sides present in them. So a polygon with three sides, that means a polygon made up of three line segments is called a triangle. Tri means three. So three angles, that is triangle. A polygon with four sides, that is called a quadrilateral. The word quadri, this means four. So that is quadrilateral. Now there can be many different types of quadrilateral again. A polygon with five sides. Five is penta. So this is pentagon. Polygon with six sides. Six is hexa. So this is hexagon. Polygon with seven sides will be a heptagon. Hepta means seven. So hepta is seven. Penta is five. Hexa is six. Similarly, what would be eight? Eight is octa. So this would be octagon. So in a similar way, you can name a polygon depending on the number of sites present in it. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.